Hi everyone, welcome to the Code Script, and we are here with one more video in the interview experience series. And uh, so today we have Devraj. Uh, he recently cleared the engineering internship and uh, got selected as an as a software engineer at Engineer. So in this video, we will talk about the whole eligibility criteria and uh, the process of the uh, how you can apply and uh, the all the questions that we are asked in the interview. And we will discuss details. And at the end, end of the video, we will talk about some trick and tips how you can uh, crack interview and how you can crack this. So let's begin the discussion. So before moving forward, I would like to ask uh, to introduce yourself, Vibras. OK. First of all, very thanks for bringing me to the platform and giving me the opportunity to share my interview experience. I am Devraj. I am currently studying in third year B.Tech CSE from NIT Patna, and I have recently uh, got an uh, internship as offer from Intuit for a software engineer intern. Yes. Okay. So, how did you get this opportunity? Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, basically, I got a Google form for an off-campus software engineer summer intern at Intuit. Uh, it came in my TNP cell group and it was shared by the recruiter and it was an off-campus opportunity. What was the eligibility criteria to apply for this uh, position? So the eligibility criteria was that the student must be uh, uh, taking B.Tech degree in CSC, IT, EC, Maths or Computing, having a CGPA of 7 and above and with no backlogs. Okay, that was the eligibility criteria. Yes. What are the uh, process of the hiring, uh, like uh, the test and interview? Uh, so the interested students had to fill the Google form. And uh, the first round was the resume shortlisting. Those of who we are shortlisted went to the next round, which was an online assessment round. And thereafter, two rounds of interview were conducted, both of which were uh, elimination rounds. What should be the point that should be in the resume that make you granted you will get select shortlist? Uh, so you should look at the job requirement ID. What are the points which the company uh, is focusing on uh, focusing a candidate? So basically, it's ideal if you uh, can show some DSA experience or have some good projects in resume or previous internship experience which counts very handy, some responsibilities such as you have uh, conducted any seminar or uh, um, a head of a, a public society, so, uh, have a good CGPA. These all things contribute a lot for the resume selection. So now can you describe the coding down? How was the coding down? What was the difficulty uh, level? And what were the questions? So the first uh, round was an online coding round. There were four questions, and we had got a time limit of 90 minutes to solve them. Two questions were of lead code easy to medium level. One was lead code medium, and one was lead code hard. I was able to solve all the four, uh, four problems. Out of four, I considered two were of DP, and the rest two were of greedy problems. We were able to solve four, uh, all four problems. Y yes, sir. Then, uh, then what was the next round? Uh, uh, since uh, uh, in Intuit, it generally happens that if you are able to solve all the problems in the online assessment, they uh, uh, means uh, they most of the times they give you a chance for the interviews. So after a few days, I received the call from HR that my first round has been scheduled and it was of 30 minutes. And the interviewer would be, and the interview would be based upon problem solving, CS fundamentals, and your projects. In the interview, uh, in the interview, after intro, uh, we had first introductions. Then I was asked a question related to my project, like there was some feature in my project. So the interviewer basically asked that, how did you implement this feature? One, uh, then uh, we had discussion about this on uh, around 10 minutes. Then one question was related to the languages which I had mentioned in the resumes, like I had mentioned uh, C++ and JavaScript. 
so the interviewer asked that what do you find the difference between working with those languages what are the good features of some what are the drawbacks what are the advantages so we had a discussion on it then at the end he asked me a lead code uh, easy to medium level uh, dsa problem which was based on bitwise operators and i was uh, comfortable uh, comfortably able to solve it then uh, i asked few questions to him related to uh, work culture and what are the uh, and my uh, review then we had a little light discussion and the round was over okay so it was the it was the second round Uh, oh uh, it was so, the second round or you can call the first interview round okay first interview round and what was the next so basically uh, what happened that i was confident that i had cleared this round as i had got a positive uh, review from the interviewer but the duration between my first interview and the second round interview was over one month so uh, uh, so after waiting over 15 days i communicated with the hr about the update on my candidature so i got to know that uh, they were currently working on getting the interviews scheduled as per the priority order that they have worked on based on several factors that were internal to them and they would reach out to me when my turn comes so i felt a little disappointed as uh, i was very back at the uh, priority order so i felt like okay they would probably have the required number of interns and i won't get a chance to appear in the second round interview Yes, sir. So, uh, out of uh, pure surprise, after 15 days, I got the call for my third uh, third round uh, or the second interview round, which was scheduled a day after tomorrow. And it was mentioned that it would be of 60 minutes, and there would be a panel of two interviewers present in that. And the focus of uh, this interview round would also be like the previous round. Uh, there would be no uh, HR questions or any HR round. so this uh, so in this round i faced some technical difficulties and i lost around 15 minutes but the interviewers were very kind to provide me extra 15 minutes to uh, assess me and the uh, so after the introduction i was asked a coding question uh, which was not a standard problem which we can found in top coding problem sheets or on lead code uh, the final problem was gradually built up into three parts i gave the solution to it using uh, binary search and applying greedy into it so uh, i was also asked about the limitation of the code which i have written like what are the cases in which your code won't work what are the uh, uh, what are the assumptions you have made while writing this code so and they also dry run uh, the code at each step yeah, this took around 40 minutes then i was asked cs fundamental ba based questions on oops dbms and os uh this is important to note that uh, when they asked about me that do you know computer network so i said that i wasn't very comfortable in it or confidence in it so they said okay it's not a problem so uh, in oops i was asked uh, output problems and concepts related to polymorphism inheritance method overriding virtual function and static runtime binding with little variations uh, then they went into operating system they asked about segmentation paging differences between them fragmentation and their types why do they occur uh, then they went into the dbms and i was asked about all the normal uh, normal forms and their examples <laughs> then i was able uh, then i uh, then at the last i was asked a question related to my project that uh, uh, how that part was related to my project and how it has uh, how i have implemented it and what was uh, its contribution to the uh, main idea of the project so at last i asked a few question and this round was over so by, by this uh, the last round or the so one more ha huh, yes this was the last round uh, after that uh, after few days around three days i got a call from the i got a call from intuit that i has been selected as the summer intern okay so <clears throat> it was all about the interview it's like a question that asked in the interview so i i want to ask one more question ki how did you improve your coding skill so i think basically there are two paths to how you can be a good problem solver uh, the first path is by doing cp and the second path is by uh, doing practice on traditional platforms like lead code and gfg so first of all i would like to tell about the path which i followed so i practiced a lot on code forces and code safe and uh, it gave it gave me a lot of confidence while doing well in the online uh, uh, coding rounds uh, and the second is 
that you can practice on lead code and gfz but you should take care that you shouldn't only practice on a number of only easy questions because you want you uh, basically the easy question do not decide whether you would qualify that round or not so you should uh, give more focus on medium level questions on lead code and you should be little familiar with hard questions also of lead code type yes so apart from the coding okay what subject and what uh, topic should uh, mm, the student or uh, fresher can focus upon okay so when you uh, begin your college days so basically uh, when you uh, are on the verge of uh, going out of the college by taking the degree basically uh, you can excel by developing uh, three kinds of uh, profiles the one profile is like Uh, the one which is very good at dsa means excellent like candidate master on code forces the one is which has a balanced profile like good at dsa have few good projects uh, no not a lot of dev but uh, you can develop a crud application and the third one is he is a uh, well versed with dev but de uh, but don't know much about dsa so these three these are these are the three paths which can uh, give you a good placement because these are the three which are required everywhere so either you uh, either you you can follow any of these three paths and excel okay so <clears throat> one more question again ki what should be the like mindset if you uh, anyone appearing in the first app in interview uh, so b- basically uh with uh, people uh, tend to be nervous everyone be nervous before interview but the the questions asked in the interview are not very tough but what we carry that if we didn't ask uh, we if we are not able to answer the question which was asked just previous to so carry the baggage of that in uh, over the next questions also which uh, which let us to perform much lower than what our uh, limit is so you shouldn't carry the ba- baggage of the questions which you ha- hadn't asked it, answered previously treat every question as a fresh one treat every question as this is the start of the interview and do not think much and and just just think that okay you are solving on your own not on the interviews not think that there is someone sitting beside you and one thing is also important that while solving the dsa related question you should uh, not only just code you should also code line uh, code and also explain what you are doing because it doesn't feel like it is just a one way communication with the interviewer and you, you and you, you should not ignore the core core cs fundamental subjects like operating system os dbms and computer network they are uh, they are very much required and they can decide your fate even if you uh, had solved all the dsa problems but were not able to uh, ex, uh, not able to uh, perform much better in the cs fundamentals so uh, it can uh, prove a, a grave mistake for you so anything is that you want to share with uh, viewer like any trick and tips that can may help them to crack the interview and test them okay uh, so talking first about intuit uh, there is i think there is no fixed pattern for interviews and in intuit what they would ask uh but uh, it would based on your resume whichever side your resume would be would be inclined like a dsa side or dev side so the majority of the part of the interview would vested in that uh so and apart from this uh, yeah, the broadly speaking uh, you should you should have you should be very comfortable with solving lead code medium questions medium level code problems have at least one good project to discuss and clear concept of cs fundamentals uh you should understand your project and the tech stack used in them and for the online coding round in interview you should practice previous problems which are very handy you can find them on gfg and they generally ask one or two dp problem for sure in the online coding round uh, thank you so much devraj for taking your precious time to come here anything that you want to say uh it was a nice ex- experience to share my interview experience and uh, i have also watched at uh, the interview experience of many uh, candidates and it had helped me a lot and surely some uh, i hope some would benefit from it and grab an opportunity yeah definitely
so thanks everyone for watching this video and if you like this video if you feel this video will be helpful then like this video subscribe this channel and also most importantly share with this your friend this video may help many students to improve their skill and may help to crack their interview and coding test